Oh, here we go. This will work. We tried to go on Twitch, it wouldn't work on Twitch, but now we're on Periscope. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, here, let's turn that sideways. There we go. Uh, uh, I'm Justin Robert Young. That's Willie Mills Gregory. We are here in downtown Orlando, Florida, because tonight the ultimate thrill ride, WrestleMania, comes to you live on pay-per-view and exclusively on the WWE Network. Uh, I am beyond thrilled. Yeah. I'm, like, at an 11. Like, we... we where uh, uh, any good chicken fingers Today in the area. Today goes to an 11. So Today can... goes to an 11. Yes. We had a fun time with our Uber driver. Yep. I'm she getting... Apparently we made her cry for the first time from laughing. Yeah, no, yeah. So we should add from <laughs> laughing. Uh, we didn't make her cry because we were mean. We uh, when's it on, laughing. brother? Well, uh, I believe it begins at pre-show at 3? Pre-show, I believe, is at 5. No. Yeah. It's a two-hour pre-show, isn't it? Yeah. No, because it starts it says at 6. 7 Eastern was when it actually, like, goes. Starts. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. We're yeah. going to be up until, like, 7 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, well. You're going to go right to the I'm, fucking. Yeah, I'm going to get back go to the right hotel to the and go right to the airport, yeah. basically. Yeah. How long is it doing? Shut up, Ben. Uh, hi, guys. Time jumper. What are you going to do when I run wild on you? Uh, if you have any questions about what it's like to be around uh, the ultimate throw ride, please go ahead and throw them here. Uh, we have had a, a, a very eventful couple days. Yeah. We did, uh, oh, shit, hey We did, uh, we did Universal Studios. Yep. That was your first time at Universal Studios. Yes. Uh, and I assume every time at Universal Studios I'll be getting in for free and getting a, a tour of the place from an employee. Sure. And, uh, and a local. And, and a lifelong Floridian. Yeah. Local. Yeah. Well, not now. I mean, I guess my <laughs> life ended when I left Florida. Uh, but yeah, it's actually gorgeous. It's great. I'm. I almost feel fucked up that I said that it was gorgeous because, like, <laughs> it's actually. Uh, I, I hope it stays like this because it is really nice now. And there is something in Orlando that uh, does not happen, which is a breeze. Yeah, breezes no, right normally die. They the die. Is, our yeah. seats are guaranteed to be basically in the sun. I'm. I'm but. Because it starts, it's a later show. It'll, yeah. it'll cool off. The the night air will a little bit be of cool. There. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. Uh, by the way, I'm being texted by somebody who's talking politics with Kevin Nash. AMA. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Let me know. Uh, with our other wrestling shows uh, this weekend, did you see anything super rad? Indeed, we did. Yes. What was the your favorite match that we saw? So favorite match that we saw was uh, the Hardys. And the Young Bucks tag team ladder match for the ROH tag team titles. And uh, that was goddamn insane. Uh, you're that, goddamn was probably the best, that was probably the best ladder match that's ever happened. And we were there. <laughs> yes, uh, this is somebody who knows something. The ocean breeze is shot out of the sky somewhere over Bithla. <laughs> now we're going local. They, they just truck in the ocean oh, yeah. breeze. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere around Christmas, Florida, uh, the breeze fucking uh, goes away. <laughs> what was the most unexpected thing that you've seen this weekend, wrestling or otherwise? Um, Drew Galloway's final uh, indie appearance. Yeah, that was unexpected. So one of the shows we went to was What Culture Pro Wrestling. Uh, it was headlined by their champion, Drew Galloway. Uh, he had a great match. He, uh, it was just a great time. And then next thing you know, we were at the ROH show, so we just got to hear it. Yeah, uh, we like went from his final match to the ROH show. To the show, ROH show. And then he, we find out he's at NXT on camera. Being announced as yes. the newest NXT superstar. Yeah. So, like, that was a shock. And I assume it was also a shock to... Evolve and what culture pro wrestling? Sure, an insane championship wrestling, who uh, have him prominently figured into their long term plans. So, uh, but that was unexpected. That was definitely an unexpected time. Yeah, you're going to WrestleMania. Ah, uh, oh God, so good. My buddy was at the Takeover show. You know, if we could do it again, I think. We'd still do ROH. I think it's still do ROH just because it it was a varied experience, right? Like if we just came here and did nothing but WWE stuff, uh, I think we'd be missing out on the full experience which we got. Like I think we got you know the ROH style, over the top, crazy in ring stuff, 
Yeah. Uh, and then and, and we watched NXT when we got back, most of it anyway. Yeah. Uh, and that looked like a great show too. But we I just would have been. Like you can't go wrong this weekend. Like every, no. everybody's putting on their best stuff. Uh, Roman Empire on fire says the stage is awesome and he has ringside seats. Wow. Well, hey, we're on the ramp, so if somebody you know, you know, fucks off, then mm. we can tag in. Yeah. Don't worry. We're big Roman fans. Uh, I think I saw someone said they're training to be a wrestler. That's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, ROH and, and NXT tend to always wind up co- conflicting with each other uh, for whatever reason. But you want to know what? There's, well, they ended before the main event, I think. They did. Right. But yeah. you want to know what? Like, there's more than enough to go around. ROH sold out a 4,000-seat stadium. Uh, NXT sold out the fucking Amway Center. Seat stadium. Yeah, so it's like uh, uh, there's more than enough people. You know, there's more than enough to go around. Why was Drew at NXT Takeover? Because he is now an NXT superstar. Yeah, uh, he's back. The chosen one. Drew is back. Galloway is gone. Drew McIntyre is back. Entire is back. Entire. <laughs> yeah. Are the shows close to each other? Uh, not not the ones we went to. No. Oh shit. This guy is just circling the block. By yeah. the way. But he's cruising. He's got to show everybody his sweet system. I know. By the way, he could be the most over person on his block if he just played fucking uh, <laughs> wrestling themes. Yeah. Red light. Green, Green light. light. Everybody take a shot. <laughs> uh, Nakamura's going to Raw. Uh, maybe. Okay. Who knows? That would make sense. You know. I could probably do an impression of Vince McMahon describing Nakamura, but that would be me saying a racial slur in public. Uh... If Nakamura goes to Raw, I would also hope AJ Styles ends up in Raw as well. You want to see him together. I do. SummerSlam, right? I do. That's a SummerSlam really match. Yeah. Wrestling is how you see it. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, is it is it fake? No. It's actually 100% real. That's what a lot of people don't understand. Is that sure. This is a pure athletic competition. And it's only a vendetta... Uh, that the federal government has against Vince McMahon for beating the steroid rap that they won't allow gambling on it. So, well, I'll say this, though. Uh, even if even if wrestling is quote-unquote predetermined... Uh, no proof of that. Get, There's get, no well, proof. Sure, but getting... Fake news. Fake yeah, news. Fake news. But getting yourself to be a winner takes a lot of uh, effort. Uh, is there gambling on it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in, in, in the UK. So what does that tell you? Why is there gambling in the United States about it? Makes you think, I am out. values. Is Tanaka fighting tonight? No, I don't no, believe that Tanaka, Tanaka will be on the card. Three hours left to the pre-show. So they're saying that the pre-show's at four. Okay. When I looked it up, it said that it was starting at... Like, the actual show is starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But that does seem late to me, too. I mean, either way, we're going to go down there. Would that be Central? No, no, no. No, it said 7 it said, it said yeah. Eastern, yeah. Uh, you would have said the same thing about Tanaka last year. Fair point. There's always some surprises in the arm bar. Uh, what time does actual WrestleMania start? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. We think it is either 6 or 7 o'clock. WrestleMania start time. WrestleMania's already started for us. Yes. How about SD Jones? We're in the thick of it. Uh, so, yeah, we can see here. You want to do a little people watching? We can do a little pre-show at 5, main show at 7. Yeah, see, this says okay. pre-show starts two hours earlier. Alright, so this is a crowd of all the marks. We've got belt guys, we've got prop guys, we've got cosplay guys. Everybody's making their way. That away is uh, is the stadium. So that's where you'll see all the wrestling fans. That's a lot of marks. That is a lot of marks, man. Yeah, we will we will slowly make our way that direction as time goes on. Stopping for a cigar and a uh, dos equis. Well, you know, it's green light. Green light. Uh, probably the old 0% on a punk appearance. Well, you wouldn't want to waste a punk appearance without building it up. Right? Sure. Punk sells tickets. Yeah, and selling tickets is tough at WrestleMania. <laughs> well, could we see the return of the Hardys? Well, that now, is a more interesting question. Yes. Now, I say, I say 
possibly, but not probably, but possibly. And if it doesn't happen tonight, it happens tomorrow. I would say it's definitely happening soon. Yeah. Um, it's today or tomorrow, I think, because I think they're going to Raw. And or at least one of them is going to Raw, but they show up as a, as a duo. You think they show up as a duo? Yeah. Uh, Hardy's coming. Yeah, we'll to... have to see if Matt doesn't have a white streak in his hair anymore. Yeah, because there yeah. is that old lawsuit thing. Yeah. Although, if there's anybody who might just say "suck it" to to, to the Impact uh, attorneys. Although, you know, Impact. I guess their offices are in Tennessee, but they probably have a they, they have a, a local law firm to just like have a uh, a C and D on hand to give to Vince McMahon personally. Uh, more importantly, what are you smoking and why isn't it Florida sun-grown? Well, I don't know. What am I smoking here? A Quesada Oktoberfest. Is that a B- BYOC right there? Well, I bought it here. Ah. And then I took it away. Sure. And then, and then I brought, brought it back, it back. up. Yeah. Okay. Good isn't customer. that tag match a ladder match? Huh. And also, it was a ladder match very late in the game. Yeah. Uh, as, as if maybe... There was now, uh, something added. Now, here's the thing, though. The ladder match that the Hardys did last night, it would be quite impressive if they went and did another ladder match today. Uh, that being said, they are uh, the Hardys. normal people. They're, yeah. they're bizarre, weird North Carolina meth heads yeah. who are also just brilliant. It is their broken brilliance, brother Nero. Uh, which, by the way, they were not, according to uh, the the Dave Meltzers of the world, mm-hmm. they were not allowed uh, to do... Am I streaming WrestleMania tonight? No. I'll be at WrestleMania. Uh, I might periscope. I would like to Twitch, but this stupid on-air thing didn't work. Um, but uh, maybe... There could, there could be some intermittent periscoping. There could be some intermittent periscoping. Otherwise, follow my Snapchat. That's probably the easiest way to get, like, video yeah. and shit like that. I think Aaron Rowan will, uh, Eric Rowan will interfere in the WWE Championship match. There's been some rumors. I wouldn't mind seeing just a straight-up one-on-one barn burner of a match between those yeah. two, though, with nothing involved. Is sexual chocolate wrestling tonight? I think he might be in the armbar. Might be in the armbar. I think he's in the... in the. Basically, anybody who doesn't have anything going on is in the armbar. Yeah, which I think why they do it, because apparently, yeah. like, legendarily, Vince is... Very good about everybody getting a WrestleMania payday. Yeah, sure. Like, he wants to get as many people on the card as possible. Well, let's talk about Braun Strowman. Uh, any surprise woman for the SmackDown title? I think we probably get at least one surprise. Yeah. At this point, though, who do you think it is? I mean, Naomi would have been the odds-on favorite to be a surprise. No longer a surprise. There have been rumors of, uh, of, of, uh, one, uh, of the woman with... Two Kellys. <laughs> uh, that's that's a rumor. So who knows? Lita maybe. They cut five dudes from the armbar: Titus, the Ascension, and the Lucha Dragons. I think you mean Titus, the Lucha Dragons, and the Surfer dudes with attitude. Mm-hmm. I think that's who you mean. But they've added uh, Damo, um, and who else? Some other people got added. I thought. Yeah. I do love that that uh, Dane Killian. Yeah. AKA Big Damo. Um you know, just got added like, you know, just uh Vince McMahon in the bath. Uh He's huge. Yeah, exactly. Hold but on. Kenny Pugh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was texting me about talking politics with Kevin Nash. We gotta go get a debrief on that one. Yeah. That one just doesn't get to pass. That's pretty epic. Uh, a Southpaw Battle Royal would be awesome. Oh, God, I would love a live Southpaw event. That'd be great. Just film it in a closet. If they, if they can build enough heat for it, uh, and it's like... I think, though, it seems like all the wrestlers themselves are, are down for it. we see reappearances of some characters. Wait, is there a leap year this year? No. No, 2018, 2018 is. No, maybe even 2020. Ah, rats. So we got people in crisis. I've seen a couple of these of like people in like group outfits. 
But I don't know if that's for WrestleMania or for something else. Well, do they shoot the prices right here? Because they do not. Okay. <laughs> Brawl and Triple H will be a good match. The rumors are that Metallica will be performing Triple H's theme. That's dope. That'd be great. I mean, in lieu of Motorhead, uh, which can't do it anymore, obviously. Do you think you, could, you think Hetfield can do the the game? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can do whatever he wants. I mean, he's Hetfield, right? Uh, R.I.P. Lemmy. Yeah. No. Big uh, big shout out to the memory of Lemmy. Going for Rollins, but I think Triple H will win. I number one, look up the record that Triple H has at WrestleMania. Yeah. He very traditionally loses at WrestleMania. And I think at this point he wants to put over Rob. the guys. Yeah. He wants, yeah. And also... He's embraced his I'm going to make everyone else look good thing. Um, so, think about it like this. Rumor is that Undertaker and Roman Reigns are going last. Yeah. If they know... Because they have been not, they haven't buried their head in the sand about the, these crowds' reaction to Roman Reigns. Yeah. In fact, whenever there's been like a big Raw or Royal Rumble, they booked him like a heel to get other stuff over. Yeah. They booked him like a heel so Finn Balor could get over. They booked him like a heel so everybody would cheer Randy Orton of all people winning the Royal Rumble, which is normally something that everybody would boo. Um, but if they're going last, let's assume. I'm spitballing here. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, we're hearing it from a lot of places. Now. Let's assume that Roman wins. Let's assume that they also want to make him a, 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 a huge heel in yeah. that moment. Him beating the living shit out of The Undertaker. Uh, and then having other people come out to save The Undertaker. Okay. Would be a big ending, especially if it's a big surprise. Yeah. On who comes out. Right? Like, what if... Oh, my God. What if... Final match. Right? Roman Reigns, The Undertaker. Roman wins. Ooh, ah! (laughs) Puts him down. Superman punch. Superman punch. Superman punch. The dead man is truly dead. And then Roman just goes to work, right? Lights go out. Finn Balor. Oh, Finn wow. Balor comes out to defend the honor of the Undertaker, and now you immediately have a mega hot feud sure. coming right out of WrestleMania. But I mean, if so, you know the whole thing about <clears throat> send the people home happy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if the people would be that sad if they feel like they are the last people to watch an Undertaker match. Undertaker loses, and then we get like 10 minutes of like applauding the Undertaker as he like slowly makes his way to the back and takes yeah. the Taker chance and stuff. As sad as it would be, also, I think people would be like happy to have been there for that moment, right? Yeah. I certainly would be. Oh, I mean, thank you, Taker. Yeah. Come on. Druids carry off The Undertaker. (laughs) I mean, he's got those druids. He's tight with them druids. How about, uh... Oh, by the way. Mick Foley in Mankind outfit comes out and saves... (laughs) Saves him. That could be. Bullet Club and the Shield standoff. Oh. I mean... You want want to know my other other thing long-term? This is not tonight. But uh, Triple H, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens. Obviously, they've been teasing yes. the wrestling house shows as a three-man unit, right? Uh, why do you put together a three-man team of top guys? So they can Maybe because team of top you guys. want another three-man team of top guys. Yeah. You know, you build up so you can pay off. And there's nobody else that really makes sense. Because, like, you know, the Wyatts and the Shield was the last time we really saw, like, this, like, insane standoff, right? I mean, you could do face face Wyatts. Sure. 
face Wyatt, so, so you have yeah, to add another another Wyatt, Wyatt family, right? Sure. Uh, you or you could do the shield, right? But a shield reunion doesn't make as much sense if Roman's here. No. Right now they're it all. It wouldn't face. happen tonight anyway. No. They're oh, certainly also not. Separated. But I think if you turn Roman heel, you're turning them heel for a yeah. year, right? For like a while. At least. WWE needs better storylines. Well, my life does too, but fucking, what are you going to do? <laughs> Forcing face Wyatt would just be to heat up the team to face up the Shield. Or, you know, fat guy evolution. Whatever you want to call it. Waistline evolution. <laughs> Fuck it, that team would just be... It should just be the t shirts they should sell is just like a group chat of Triple H saying, uh, Hey, I'm, uh, I'm gonna hit the gym. Are you guys up? <laughs> and then nothing else below it. Just just an empty group yeah, chat. Sure. Like just at the gym. Maybe, you know, maybe it's Triple H like a bunch of times, but like every two days. Just like at the gym, where are you guys at? At the gym, where are you guys at? At the gym, where are you guys I think, at? I think they should call their, st- their uh, stable the meal. Spelled M E A L E D. Oh, hey, one more uh, indie note. Look up Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith Lee will not be long for the indies. Keith Lee will be on NXT in, in suit. He's too big. He's too good. Like, and and that's like, if if there's one thing that maybe things have kind of been a little bit different, not everybody has to be a bodybuilder anymore. But yeah. they love big guys. Sure. They might be fat, but if they can do a flip, it's good enough. Uh, bro, wrestling is not a sport. You're right. It is not a sport. It is the sport. It's uh, sports entertainment. It is, uh, it is better than your favorite sport, and that's a fact. Tell me your favorite sport. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Ricoch- yeah, Ricochet Seth. and Osprey. Uh, Finn Balor to save Seth. Think about it, Samoa Joe does have a match. Uh, Omega versus Okada. Uh, soccer, oh god, it's way better than soccer. I mean, even the soccer chance at wrestling is better than that. I mean, that's not even a contest, of course. But yeah, keep naming sports. Uh, why would Finn save the guy who shelved him? Well, it's wrestling, you know. <laughs> you never know. Uh, but, I mean, they didn't make, like, a big deal about Rollins shelving Finn Make Bell. sure you have a charger for Snapchatting later, says Gambling Man. Oh, papa. <laughs> I got the brick, homie. I got the brick and two tiny ones, just in case for whatever reason this gets confiscated. Sure. Uh, swimming. Oh, wait, uh, it's a pre-scripted act. I mean, you know, uh, I, 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 in, in many ways, uh, according to uh, the theologian uh, Calvin, the world is filled with predestination and that God knows when you come out of the womb exactly what will be done. So well, theoretically, uh, uh, all the world is predestined if you subscribe to the Calvinistic uh, but uh, I think theology. That, I think the real issue here is you're using pre, pre-scripted or predetermined as if that's some sort of a negative, where we could just disagree that that's a negative at all. Yeah. I mean, I, I actually, uh, I like my baseball to not be predetermined, and I like <laughs> my wrestling to be predetermined, so... They both have their merits. And Although, to be fair, I, would, I wouldn't I would mind if MLB just tried one season where they predetermined <laughs> where they everything. Pre-determined. Yeah. Well, they did that in 1919. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> I mean, listen, people are still talking about it. <laughs> sure. Still sell tickets. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Make movies about that season. Exactly. Is that Eye of the Tiger? No, I don't think it's Eye of the Tiger. But, but to me, like, when you use the argument predetermined to say wrestling uh, is bad, it's like saying, like, well, that dress is red. Sport is about competition. All right, I won't be an asshole anymore. Uh, it, but uh, I listened to a great interview with Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, of course, star in his own right, son of the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, quite possibly one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Uh, he very, very clearly uh, said, like, no, listen, professional wrestling is a sport, uh, and it's a competition. If you really want to get up your butthole nerdy about it, mm. it's a competition amongst two artists. Who are competing against each other to be the best. 
or a pair of artists who are competing against everybody else to well, do better than them. Well, each individual match itself is not necessarily a competition, but yeah. it's more of like a meta competition. It's more of like a macro competition. Like the in the match, they're working together to make one great piece of artwork. Yeah. But as far as like the overall of it, there's guys who ra rise up the ranks and fall down the ranks based on how well they do their job, right? Okay, number one, chain to jump off the big ring or the real ring. I don't think the, he's gonna jump off the giant. The giant ring, ring is literally is suicide. Like crazy. That's that's, that's suicide. Yeah. That's not that's not a real thing because like that has to be high enough for the lighting, and it has to be high enough that it doesn't block. But the maybe upper, he goes like yeah. halfway up the things on the side or something. Maybe off of that. Yeah, he could jump off a scaffold or something. Yeah, he's yeah. done that a bunch. Although of if he starts climbing up that and then doesn't go all the way up, that, I don't know if that's. Yeah. What big spot will Shane do tonight? I don't know. The rumor, I think this was on the David Shoemaker podcast, was that uh, Shane wanted AJ as soon as he saw how good AJ made Ellsworth look. Mm. And he's like, well, shit, I can do that. Like, yeah. I can do better than that. And he can. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot higher. That, that's like three Hell in a Cells up. Yeah. Like, and they built that larger Hell in a Cell so people would stop jumping off it. Sure. Uh, all right, guys, we got about a minute left here because I just rapid finished fire. my beer. So, rapid fire. Any other questions? Uh, but one more thing to the guy with the sport thing. Wrestling is about as much of a sport as, like, a relay race competition is in the Olympics. It's a bunch of people competing with each other yeah. to be better than another person doing the same thing. Match predictions and biggest upsets. Uh, well, I, you know, I think... Uh, I don't think I'd offer any big... Uh, upsets. Surprises or, yeah. Um, I mean, the upset might come in the Battle Royal. Sure. Because most people, I think, think it's Prawn. Yeah. My favorite, favorite April Fool's Day prank was uh, uh, fucking Cartoon Network actually debuting Rick and Morty Season 3. Yeah, that's pretty good. I would say, I guess, like, the one thing that I think could be, like, an upset is uh, Miz and Maurice winning. That would be an upset. Yeah. Uh, that proposal's happening. I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like a big upset would be John Cena doesn't propose. Yeah. I would also say uh, Owens is going to be Jericho. Okay. You know, it would make sense for Miz to beat Cena. Because Cena's going away. Cena and Nikki are going away. Yeah. So. Uh, I wouldn't put money on either of those things. Is Lesnar Goldberg interest going to be longer than the match time? Possibly. Yeah, probably. Because, are you doing both entrances? Yeah. Yeah. Because you gotta, Goldberg's got to walk out from the back of WrestleMania. I also just realized that I'm going to see Goldberg's entrance. Mm. Uh, uh. Yeah, we, we didn't get to see his full entrance at uh, Royal Rumble. I think Lesnar Goldberg is going to be longer than people think. I agreed with you until yeah. they didn't make it the last match of the night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I don't agree with you anymore. I think uh, it'll be longer than the previous two. Yes. But watch WrestleMania 20 when they had to do a longer match. A lot of rest holds. Yeah. A lot of tests of strength. Literally just to pad the, the, the length of the match. So, this will be a more receptive crowd because both guys are a little bit more over. Sure. Um, than they were at that point. But we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much. I'm tired of holding this fucking phone. Uh, uh, maybe more Periscopes. Definitely more Snapchats. Follow me on Snapchat at Justin R. Young. Uh, at Willie Dills on Twitter, mm -hmm. at Justin R. Young on Twitter. Uh, that's where everything's going to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this talk and you do not are, are not aware, Dills and I are uh, co-hosts on a wrestling podcast called One Nine Hundred Wrestling. We just posted an episode today, which was an audio documentary of all of our uh, adventures at the Indies over the last couple of days. We're going to be posting another uh, audio doc tomorrow about everything that happens at WrestleMania tonight. Yeah. So uh, go ahead and subscribe to that. Uh, and uh, everybody, right now, there's one more thing I want you guys to do. 
go ahead and at reply Mitzula at M I T Z U L A uh, and tell him that we are at Corona Cigar Bar. Just sight unseen. I know you might not know him, you might not follow him, you might not know who he is, but he will be very jealous that we're there. And if like at least five people tweet him right now, he well, will be annoyed. I got some bad news here. He knows that we're here. Oh, he does? <laughs> yeah. Then rub it in. <laughs> rub it rub in. Rub it in. Uh, all right, boys. I will see you guys later.